All right, next up is a demo on how to use RASMOL in high school chemistry. Now before I go any further, sometimes I'll say RASMOL and sometimes I'll say RASWIN. Forget about it, that's just a minor boo-boo in my brain. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what is RASMOL? Let's take a quick peek right here. RASMOL is what we call a molecular rendering or modeling program and essentially it takes uh, it takes numeric data, and I'll just open this up, and it converts numeric data into different, well, what we call renderings. That's what we call a stick rendering. This is what we call a space filling rendering. This is a ball and stick rendering. RASMOL happens to render molecules in a way that actually lets you do this sort of thing. I'm just doing a click and drag right now. Now I'll do a shift click, and now I'll do a control click. I think if I do a control click here, or sh is it an alt click? Yeah, I can do an alt click, and I can do an alt right click, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. So uh, let's check this rendering here. We'll check a space filling version, spin, spin, spin. And we'll also do a ball and stick version, spin, spin, spin. So RASMOL, molecular uh, rendering program. So you need to get yourself a copy of the program. A couple of different ways you can do that. One is you just surf to RASMOL. And so if I search to RASMOL and do a search here, I'm going to go to RASMOL. And somewhere on here, it's going to say download the latest version of RASMOL. It's free. It's not illegal. Don't worry about that sort of thing. Um, at school, um, at JP2, we've got it on the H drive. And the other thing I did for you is I built you a link to my RASMOL folder. And sitting in my RASMOL folder is this file right here, which is, see, I call it RASWIN, even though it's RASMOL. That's version 2.7.4 of RASMOL. So you could go into this folder and you could grab all of these things, although that program is the only thing you want. That's a help file. These other things in here I'll talk about later. Let's imagine a situation where we need to get ourselves a three-dimensional version of a particular molecule. Uh, we know the name and we're going to say um, adrenaline. So I'm going to go and do a Google search here for adrenaline, adrenaline. And I'm also going to say I want the file type to be something called a PDB. You can think of RASMOL as being like Word, and the documents it produces are doc documents. And in the case of RASMOL, it's not so much that RASMOL produces PDBs, rather that it uses PDBs. So you're going to push PDBs into uh, RASMOL and it's going to spit out um, pictures for you. And I'll show you what that looks like before we go any further. If I've got this open here, I'm just going to close this so I've got a fresh screen. And we'll go right here. Here is a PDB file that I searched and found from the net and I downloaded it onto my computer. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it into RASMOL and I'm going to let go and voila, there's the thing, and I ask for ball and stick, little spinorama, ask for space fill, little spinorama, that sort of thing. So in other words, I pushed this PDB into here. So now I'm hoping some of you would be wondering, how can I get myself some PDB files? And the answer is, well, Google search them. So let's search for adrenaline and subtype the file as PDB. So I'll complete that search. And I'm looking somewhere in here, and I'm hoping, and I'm looking down in here, I'm looking to see th something that actually suggests to me that I'm just downloading the individual file itself. So um, now I've just got to start burrowing around. I'll try right here. On, well, that's actually a PDF, so that's pretty useless. I don't know if the comma is causing a problem here. And we'll hit an Enter there. And again, I'm looking down in here for something that says um, PDB. And that's probably, oh, look at that, Adrenaline PDB file. And it actually gave me the PDB file right here. And there's the PDB file. So now I'll pop up here. And let's see, that was my, that was some other uh, thing. So we'll close this. And now this adrenaline, 
I'll push this adrenaline into here and Bob's your uncle display space filling hello so there we go and now from here we can actually build ourselves an accurate three-dimensional gumball or styrofoam ball model and if you don't like that view then switch it to this view and you get a far better view of the molecule itself okay so a uh, quick summary get yourself Rasmol get yourself the PDB file push ra uh, the PDB into here or if you want you can pull it with uh, the open uh, command and uh, that's uh, there it is um, other last shortcut was over here remember that when we were googling we would add this little thing in here that says just give me PDB files that is all enjoy